This is Patrick taking over for Randy. Whoa, whoa! With Create Studio Pro Tips Shorts. Hello, everyone. Let me introduce myself. My name is Patrick, and I will be providing short tutorials on Randy's Tip YouTube channel. It has always been a dream of mine, and it has finally come true. So, let's get started. Patrick, what are you talking about? I never said you could put tutorials on my channel. Ha, ha, ha. Sure you did. It is in the contract we signed last week. It clearly states that you, Randy, hereby grants Patrick the exclusive right to post short tutorials, three minutes or less, to Randy's Tips YouTube channel. What? Hey, that is a cool effect where the text pops off the page is larger and then returns back to the page. How did you do that? Keep watching and I will show you how. On top of the canvas, click on text. Type in or cut and paste a text block. Since the text is transparent, we need a shape behind it. Add the rectangle shape and change the color of the rectangle to the desired color. Move the text track above the shape track and resize the shape to surround the text block. Select both tracks and group them. Right mouse click on the group and select Take Snapshot. Delete the group and drag onto the canvas the snapshot. Once the text is in position, duplicate the snapshot. Rename the duplicate to one and set the desired duration. Open the border panel and create a two pixel wide border of the color of your choosing. Make duplicates of the one track for the number of items you want to enlarge and rename them to keep organized. Place the number tracks after each other. Put the playhead within the one clip and double click the text on the canvas. The edge changes to a blue hash line. We can move these hash lines to crop the picture. Drag the hash lines to surround the text you want to enlarge. Do the same procedure for the other text items to enlarge. Make sure to have the playhead position within each clip you are cropping. Move the playhead a few frames from the start of clip one and then click on add animation above the timeline. You will want to select position, scale, border, and shadow. Make sure they are all selected. Move the playhead near the end of clip one and again add an animation selecting position, scale, border, and shadow. For each clip to enlarge, add two sets of animations, just like we did for the first clip. You may notice that none of the animation values were changed, and I'm going to show you why right now. Click on the second keyframe in clip one. Enlarge the text selected and move it into desired position. Open the border panel and change width to eight pixels. Open the shadow panel and change distance to 10 pixels and blur to four pixels. Now, when I scrub that, you can see the highlighted text will enlarge, the border size increase, and a shadow appear making it look like it is hovering over the screen. Create Studio will apply values set to keyframe two also to keyframe three. So as I scrub to the end of the clip, you see that text will return back to the list because of the animation we created earlier. Repeat the operation for the other text blocks to enlarge. That is how you can emphasize a section of text in a way that grabs your audience's attention. That is a really creative technique, but there is no way I signed that contract. But that is your signature right there. This is legally binding in two states and the kingdom of Arendelle. This is Patrick, not Randy, saying have a good day and happy creating.